This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Can we talk about hard rubbish? Um, some people are into it, some people are not. Do you know what? My wife takes it so seriously that we were going to clear out some stuff we had under the house on the Sunday. She said to me, on the Saturday, don't drink too much tonight. You know it's hard rubbish tomorrow. Oh. I thought, how, oh, wow. How, how, how That's do we going? <laughs> like, are we emptying the house? I know, but you get a little bit cranky, don't you? And I heard you talking earlier in the show, and you said you had five beers at the... At the football mm. game. Yeah, well, I did. I, oh, I think that's know. too many beers. We oh, have I that agree. many children to and look caught after. caught up with Eddie Redmayne. Well, Andrew God Redmayne <laughs> is... <clears throat> Andrew, big shout-out to me, mate, Drew. Um, well played again. Um, loved you in Les Mis. Um, here's the thing. When it comes to important things, and you've been spending a lot of time in your garage, Kate Ritchie, emptying um, you know stuff that you've been going through and hoarding over the years, I'm a little bit the same. Under the house is my domain. In the garage, it's my domain. Why? Because I'm the one who puts all the stuff away. I'm the one that has all the tools. I'm the handyman, so I know what's under there, and I look after it. So when she storms in there saying, look at this junk everywhere, Ooh, yeah. and I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't come down here, and you don't know what's here. So don't storm into my zone and start telling me what's right and wrong here. The thing about getting rid of things and going through possessions, even if they're, it, they are deemed to be junk under the house, mm. there's a very fine line oh. around you know the way you should handle it because mm. there are it's, it's, a, it's a, required. Well it's emotional. Yeah, it it's is. very emotional because that junk, and mm-hmm. I don't mean to say junk and no. trigger you, um, that junk means much more than a box of stuff. In year seven, with a pair of scissors and um, some glue, I made a Michael Jackson mural. And it's sort of an A1 size. It's beautiful. I had it laminated. And you were 23 at the time, which was a bit weird. And uh, that was one of the first things she suggested should be in the hard rubbish. Have you still got that? Yeah. Are I you? Did it. you make that up? No. I've got okay. It. Do you want to get, that a, is want to get so a photo of it? It's so good. Like, it took me so long, guys. And then I had it whole laminated. You know when mum had to take it to get laminated because yeah. it was such a big thing? Because you didn't work in a workplace where no. you could get it done for free. No. Oh. Um, and then, just some of the stuff that got dragged out onto the nature strip. And I was so passionate about the stuff. Once it then got dumped on the lawn, I'm talking like a subwoofer. There was a... Did it work? What yeah, you, 100%. You, how old? How old was the subwoofer? I don't know, three years. We just don't use it. So she said, the rule, according to my wife, was if you haven't used it in five years, it goes out. I go, okay, well, just understand why it's there. She wanted to throw out a Vintec wine fridge. And I said, well, I've got it there because we're going to use it. I'm just not using it at the moment. So cause With moved. that panic of vo- in your voice, that yeah. level of panic, I can hear it's it already. It's really annoying me. Because oh, 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 you do this, because you can see them in your space. Oh. And, and I saw the videos you posted mm. on socials last night. And I know this is, a, a, a you know, an, like people are listening and they can't see me. I've never seen someone in a white T-shirt marching, marching yeah. up and down the front lawn oh with this stuff. It was unbelievable. It was so can, can I... We... we she put. She out, was a woman on a mission. You were probably hung she over was. and she cracked it. Uh, she put on the nature strip a perfectly working Dyson vacuum cleaner. What? And then I said, what are you doing? She went, it smells. What? So you, he, could, you could sell that. Yeah, you could. Really you, good point. No, you know what, though? The way you have to put this in your mind and someone or very... Or donate it. You have to pay it forward. So yes. what Lisa's idea would be is if I just put it here, it becomes someone else's problem. And I'm not throwing it out. It's not becoming landfill. I'm paying it forward to... It still had battery. Like I was zzz, 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 on the nature strip. Really? So, and the other thing is, because it was stuff that I cared about, I then stood out by the hard rubbish and I spoke to everybody that came along <laughs> like it was some sort of sale and it was my shop. So I said, thanks so much for coming along. This Dyson I'm trying vacuum- to buy tickets to Taylor Swift. So if you could <laughs> purchase these. <laughs> this this Dyson vacuum cleaner is a perfect working order. We've got the warranties inside as well. Some guy, I mean, there was, I bought Ted like this four metre blow up boat, which is awesome. It's got the smallest tear in it, which I had patched with a bicycle tyre repair kit. And it didn't oh, work. No, it worked, it but that was gone. So one guy turned up and he went, thanks for the Zodiac, mate. And I said, well, let me just talk you through the Zodiac. Have you got a pump at home that you could oh. use? Uh, you, now, at the bottom of the bag, you'll find the oars. Now, they're fantastic. The, in- the, the warranty is at the bottom as well in the paper bag. So uh, all of this stuff that I cared about. And then, Fitz, as you may have seen on Instagram, 
she started to get her hands on the old Fitzy Whipper merch. Now, this is where I drill a line. (laughs) You need to offload that, mate. It's not worth anything anymore. No, 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 my name's not even on the merch now. This is original. This is OG Oh, this is the OG. So, mate, I'm talking about the helmets that we wore when we threw the catapult. (gasps) Um, Yeah, but see, no one remembers that anymore, mate. It's over. Move on. What catapult? catapult? Yeah, what did you do? The most powerful trebuchet. I thought Hamish and Andy did that. (laughs) Fitzy Whipper's unsinkable, the life raft with our names on it, which was great merch and looks fun in a playroom. Yeah, those gravy-flavoured chips that we designed. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) That's what I was going at with Megan Gale. (laughs) Fitzy Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.